musk ravenger a little bit of an older scent people put it in their top 10 list what do i think find out my two cents right now hey what's up guys it's josh here i just want to do a quick little review today on musk ravenger this fragrance i had seen it on a couple best niche lists things of that nature i had seen it popped around some people's top 10 lists i think for niche fragrances of all time on youtube things like that decided to order it and i was extremely underwhelmed by it if you guys seen my oud satin mood review video that scent wasn't really for me but i had a lot of respect for oud satin mood i mean i could see why somebody would like it i could see why it was even blended smoothly this one is one that i just don't get i mean people say that it's got a musk vibe it's obviously called musk ravenger they made it seem like oh if you can get past that roughness then um that's pretty much all there is to it to me this one smells like a just kind of like a, an, an earthy vanilla with like some old man soap. Let me get a fresh spray so I can, you know, keep it honest real quick. It is real Josh TV. Get a second spray because I'm not going to spray this any other time. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Parfums de Marly Leighton. Now, this is me personally. I know other people probably wouldn't get that leighton -y vibe, but it's got that medicinal vanilla in there. I think the medicinalness comes from the clove. I have not looked up what's in this fragrance for a while, but I'm pretty sure it's mainly vanilla, clove, and musk. I'll put the notes so we can, you know, keep it clear on the video, of course. But yeah, to be honest, it smells kind of like Leighton right now, which I actually really, really do enjoy Leighton. It's actually not that bad right now. Um, I would say I'd probably prefer Parfums de Marley Leighton. I would say that this thing doesn't do anything really too unique. I mean, it's just a simple vanilla clove musk. I'm gonna have to pass on this one. Not really for me. I, I would kind of recommend some probably Parfums de Marley Leighton over this one. There is some similarities, but that's just me. I mean, other people probably don't get any similarities to this. What do you think of this fragrance? Do you think this is a top 10 fragrance? Have you smelled this fragrance? I would love to hear down below. This is just one where I can't really say too much about it because there's not that much to talk about it and I don't really like it, to be honest with you guys, just keeping it real. So anyways, guys, that's Musk Ravenger. It's gonna get a total big pass from me. Not my cup of tea. I did like Oud Satin Mood a lot, a lot more. Just thank you guys for watching this video. I'm sorry if you like this fragrance and if you're searching for this fragrance, I recommend not getting a sample, but who knows, maybe you'll like it. A lot more people like it than I would have thought. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. You guys don't know how much it means to me. Again, we're on the road to 10,000 subscribers. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully you're having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.